What's the best playbook in Madden 24? Philadelphia Eagles. But in all seriousness, guys, the issue with this question is that answering it doesn't actually give you any useful information. We don't run playbooks. We run formations within a playbook. If you don't know which formations and which plays make a playbook good, then it doesn't matter what playbook you're in. That's why today, as we go over the six best playbooks in Madden 24, I'm going to give you guys specific formations, plays, and setups in each playbook that you can use right now to start winning more games. And just a quick note, guys, please. Please don't use coach suggestions, ever. Let's get into the list. At number six, we have the Chiefs playbook. Start in the formation gun deuce close and make sure you're on a hash with your running back on the wide side of the field. Establish your run game using the play RPO Alert Omaha, which is an excellent inside run, but you can also zip it out to your receivers on the speed outs if they're open. Against both man and zone coverage, come out in the play PA post cross and the adjustments are to put your short side outside receiver on a streak, put your short side tight end on a drag, and put your wide side tight end on a curl. Against man coverage, you can hit the tight end on the drag if your opponent doesn't use it, or hit your outside receiver on the crosser, which will completely cook his defender. Against zone coverage, we can still hit the tight end on the drag if it's open, or check down to the running back in the flat, but we ideally want to hit the outside receiver on the crosser, which will get into the open space that's cleared out by the streak. Finally, mix in the play RPO read flat wheel, because the quick throw to the receiver on the post is one of the glitchiest routes in the entire game. Our next formation is gun tied open, which I have a full ebook on at playbookprofessor.gg, and once again, make sure you're on a hash with your running back on the wide side of the field. Establish your run game with inside zone, as well as the play speed option, where you just have to identify the pitch key defender pre-snap, and then after the snap, run straight at the pitch key before pressing wire triangle and LB or L1 to perform a hurdle pitch to get the ball to your running back on the outside. For passing the ball, against zone coverage, come out in the play bench Z spot, and the only adjustments are to put your short side outside receiver on a streak and put your wide side outside receiver on a fade. After the snap, read your corner routes on both sides of the field and hit whichever one comes open. Against man coverage, come out in the play dig Z spot and the only adjustment is to put your wide side outside receiver on a fade. After the snap, first read the zig route on the short side inside receiver, which can get crazy separation and allow you to get a ton of yards up the sideline. You can also throw to your corner route on the wide side as long as you freeform the pass up and outside, and doing that will allow you to hit your receiver for some monster gains deep along the sideline. Next up at number 5 is the Bengals playbook. Start in the formation gun tight slots halfback weak and make sure you're on a hash with your running back on the short side of the field. Establish your run game using the play inside zone or to throw your opponent off, mix in the play halfback mid draw. For passing the ball, against zone coverage, come out in the play flood and the adjustments are to put your tight end on a curl and put your solo receiver on a flat route. After the snap, read your flood con concept to the short side and hit either the flat route or corner route based on whichever one the defense leaves open. Or if the user takes away your open receiver, just come back to your tight end on the curl route for easy yards over the middle. Against man coverage, come out in the play mesh spot and the only adjustment is to motion out your solo receiver on the post. After the snap, first read both drags and hit either one of them if they get separation. Then read your post, which you can hit for a solid gain over the middle, or finally, hit the running back on the wheel route with a freeform pass over the top, which can be an easy one play touchdown. Our next formation is single back wing flex close, which I have a full ebook on at playbookprofessor.gg and make sure you're on a hash with your tight ends on the short side of the field. Start by establishing your run game with halfback stretch, which you can flip in either direction. For passing the ball, against zone coverage, come out in the play drive Y corner and the only adjustment is to put your outside tight end on a streak. This builds an easy flood concept on the short side and after the snap, just read the corner route and the drag route and hit whichever one the defense doesn't guard. Against man coverage, come out in the play PA cross country and the adjustments are to put your running back on a wheel, put your inside tight end on a drag, and put your outside tight end on a streak. After the snap, first read the tight end on the drag since drags are one of the best man beating routes in the game. Next, look at your receiver on the crosser who will completely torch his defender and just freeform the pass up and outside so you can put the ball where only he can catch it. The final read 
is the running back on the wheel route, and after he torches his man, just freeform your pass up for a humongous one play touchdown. Coming in at number four is the spread playbook. Start in the formation gun slot offset and make sure you're on a hash with your slot receiver on the wide side of the field. Establish your ground game with the play RPO peak zone bubble. If your opponent doesn't guard the flat, then you can zip it outside to your running back on the motion swing, or if they do guard the flat, then don't press anything to hand the ball off to your running back up the middle. You can also mix in the play RPO read bubble to do the exact same thing, but in the other direction. For passing the ball, against zone coverage, come out in the play motion spot, and the adjustments are to put your outside receiver on a streak and put your solo receiver on a smart routed in route. This builds an easy flood concept to the motion swing side, and after the snap, just read the swing route and the corner route and hit whichever one the defense doesn't guard. Against man coverage, come out in the play motion Y cross, and the adjustments are to put your non-motion running back on a wheel route and put your outside receiver on a comeback route. After the snap, the crosser will completely fry his man coverage, and you can hit him with a freeform pass led up and outside for huge gains along the sideline. You can also hit your receiver on the comeback route by throwing the ball right as he makes his break, or you could hit your running back on the wheel route with a freeform pass up for a humongous gain over the top. Our next formations are Gun Monster and Gun Double Stack, and you can run these from either hash. In Gun Monster, come out in the play RPO Zone Alert, which will have your opponent's defense completely misaligned if they don't make any adjustments, and when that happens, you can run right up the middle on them. You can also audible over into Gun Double Stack and the play RPO Read FL Screen. In that case, on this play, just read the read key defender, and if he stays home after the snap, then hold A on Xbox or X on PlayStation to hand the ball off to your running back, or if the read key crashes in, then don't press anything to keep the ball with your quarterback. And if your opponent is playing press man coverage, then call any pass play in the formation and put your front receivers on zigs and your back receivers on streaks. This often results in a man switch that can get one or both of the streaks left completely unguarded, which you can hit for an easy one play touchdown. Coming in at number three is the Jets playbook. Start in the formation gun tight offset tight end and make sure you're on a hash with your running back on the wide side of the field. Establish your run game with the play inside zone, and if your opponent starts stopping it, then switch things up by mixing in the play 0-1 trap. For passing the ball, against zone coverage, come out in the play bench, and the adjustments are to put both outside receivers on streaks and motion out your wide side outside receiver. Now you're attacking both sidelines with a streak and corner route combo, and after the snap, you just have to hit whichever corner route gets open. Against man coverage, come out in the play mesh spot, and the only adjustment is to put your wide side outside receiver on a flat route. After the snap, read both of your drags and go ahead and take the easy yards underneath if either of them get get separation. Then look at your running back on the wheel route, who you can hit with a freeform pass up for huge yards over the top. And finally, look at your corner route, which you can hit on a freeform pass led up and outside for a massive completion down the field. Our next formation is gun bunch tight end, and make sure you're on a hash with your receivers on the wide side of the field. Start by running the ball with the play RPO alert bubble, and if your opponent is in man coverage or is guarding the flat, then don't press anything to hand the ball off to your running back and take it up the middle. Well, if your opponent is leaving the flat open, then throw to your receiver on the bubble screen for easy yards to the outside. For passing the ball, against zone coverage, come out in the play curl flat corner, and the adjustments are to put your outside receiver on a streak and motion him out, and put your tight end on a smart routed in route. Now you've built a simple flood concept, and after the snap, just read the corner route and flat route, and hit whichever one the defense leaves open, or if the user takes away your open receiver, just hit the tight end on the backside in route. Against man coverage, come out in the play PA boot over and the adjustments are to put your tight end on a drag and block your running back. This puts three man beating routes on the field, so first read both of your drags and take the easy yards if either of them get separation. Then look at your receiver on the crosser and you can hit him with a freeform pass up and outside for some absolutely enormous gains over the top. Now at number two is the Patriots playbook. Start in the formation gun Y off trips pats and make sure you're on a hash with your running back on the short side of the field. Establish your run game with the play 5-6 trap and make sure you don't hold the sprint button until after crossing the line of scrimmage which will give your pulling guard time to make his block. For passing the ball, against zone coverage, come out in the play scat and the adjustments are to put your solo receiver on a flat, put your running back on a streak, put your tight end on a flat, and put your outside receiver on a streak. 
After the snap, the first read is the running back on the streak, which can get wide open after the flat route pulls defenders outside. Then read your flood concept on the wide side and throw to whichever player the defense doesn't guard. Against man coverage, come out in the play tight end whip, and the adjustments are to put your solo receiver on a flat route, put your running back on a wheel, and put your slot receiver on a streak. After the snap, the first read is the tight end on the zig, which can get insane separation against his defender for easy yards to the outside. The next read is the running back on the wheel route, who you can hit with a freeform pass for huge gains over the top. The final read is your outside receiver on the post, who will completely torch his man, and as long as you pass the ball out in front of him, you'll be racking up some huge gains over the middle. Our next formation is Gun Trips Tight End, which I have a full ebook on out of the Packers playbook at playbookprofessor.gg, and make sure you're on a hash with your receivers on the wide side of the field. Establish your run game with the play RPO Zone Alert Bubble. If your opponent is in man coverage or guarding the flat, then don't press anything to hand the ball off to your running back. Well, if your opponent is in zone coverage and isn't guarding the flat, then go ahead and zip it out to your receiver on the bubble screen for some easy yards to the outside. For passing the ball, against zone coverage, come out in the play double in sail, and the adjustments are to put your outside receiver on a streak, put the middle receiver on a flat route, put your tight end on a smart routed in route, and block your running back. This builds an easy flood concept to the trip side, and after the snap, just read whichever receiver the defense doesn't guard, or if the user takes the open guy away, just come back to the tight end on the the in route over the middle. Against man coverage, come out in the play curl flat, and the adjustments are to put your outside receiver on a streak and put your tight end on a drag. After the snap, the first read is the tight end on the drag who can easily beat his man and quickly turn up field for easy yards after the catch. The next read is the running back on the Texas route who can get a ton of separation against his defender, and the final read is the inside receiver on the post which is one of the most powerful man-beating routes in the entire game. Coming in at number 1 is the Eagles playbook. Start in the formation single back wing slot and make sure you're on a hash with your tight ends on the short side of the field. Establish your run game with the play stretch a bubble, which is one of the best runs in the entire game. You'll be able to consistently find open space to the stretch side, but if your opponent isn't guarding your slot receiver on the bubble screen, then go ahead and throw it out to him to rack up yards down the opposite sideline. For passing the ball, against zone coverage, come out in the play PA tight end scissors, and the adjustments are to put your outside receiver on a streak and put your outside tight end also on a streak. After the snap, the streaks on both sides will pull zone defenders deep, and you can throw to either corner route underneath. Against man coverage, come out in the play mesh spot and you can run this play completely stock. After the snap, first read both drags and hit either one of them if they get separation. Then read your post, which you can hit for a solid gain over the middle, or finally hit the running back on the wheel route with a freeform pass over the top, which can be an easy one play touchdown. Our next formation is gun bunch offset, and make sure you're on a hash with your bunch receivers on the wide side of the field. Establish your run game with the play read option, and all you have to do is read the read key defender. If the read key stays home after the snap, then hold A on Xbox or X on PlayStation to hand the ball off to your running back, or if the read key crashes in, don't press anything to keep the ball with your quarterback and take off into the open space. For passing the ball against both man and zone coverage, come out in the play double post. Against man coverage, the only adjustment is to put your middle bunch receiver on a drag. After the snap, read both the drag and the running back out route, and one of them will get separation for easy yards every time. Then look over the middle at your receiver on the post, which is one of the best man-beating routes in the entire game. And against zone coverage, the only adjustment is to put your middle bunch receiver on a streak. After the snap, read the quick throw to the tight end in the flat, which you should hit every time if your opponent leaves it open, and then look at the running back on the out route, which gets in an awesome spot underneath the zone defenders. The final read is the post route, and again, Against cover 3, this setup is a coverage bomb, and you can launch it to your receiver for the massive one-play touchdown. And for a ton more setups out of Gun Bunch Offset, that ebook is 100% free at playbookprofessor.gg. It includes video breakdowns, read progressions for every setup, and a downloadable PDF so that you can keep the entire scheme forever. Or if you're interested in more Madden tips, click on this video right here where I go over 20 pro tips that every Madden player should know.